We're a little, we're a little backlit. We're a little bit backlit. Should I move the camera? There's people on the other side of this wall talking. Is why I'm using my phone. I'm hoping that it won't be as loud. Um, do I want to move? Oh, the sun's on me. Or is this good? This, I mean, from my angle, it looks terrible. It looks like <laughs> so terrible. I really don't want to move it. There's something within me that can't stand moving my camera once I've set it up. Okay, fine. I'll move it. Okay, fine. Okay, so just, just me in the corner. This is how I set it up. I set it up just me in the corner. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is, this is okay. You can kind of see me because the sun's blasting on me. Let's just move on. Hi, welcome to a new video. My name's Lee, if you're new here. Um, this is gonna be a nice little vlog. I haven't, I, keep, I can't get comfortable. Okay, um, this is gonna be my first vlog in so long. I just haven't been in the mood to vlog, but me and Sad Shrimps did a really cool collaboration and I filmed some of it and I wanted to share it. So we're here with a new vlog. I'm excited to be here. Grab your water. I don't have mine. Um, so grab yours. Yeah, so this, this is gonna be a sweet little vlog. I don't, I'm not gonna give you any spoilers actually. I'm not gonna give you a single spoiler. Um, if you're wondering as the, as the video gets started, there are still some of the items for sale in my shop. I should check what those are. Let me check. Okay, I just looked. There's still sweatshirts, socks, and scarves in my shop. If you're in the US or Canada, you can order from my shop. If you're international, you can order from Natasha's shop. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this video is gonna give you the whole, the whole lowdown. So I hope you enjoy. Like the video before it starts, before you leave me and go about your task that you're gonna do while watching this. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Nothing to lose there. And that'll be that. I'll see you at the end of the video in the same spot right here. So thanks for clicking on this video. It's very cute. It's very cute of us to be here together. <laughs> I don't know how to use my phone as a microphone either. This is my first time doing this. I've just seen other people do it. I feel like a newscaster. Okay, bye. I haven't vlogged in months, but I have an exciting collaboration coming out. So we're gonna start vlogging. Um, I do believe I have some 
random footage from the last like three months. Maybe I'll throw into this vlog. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. Um, before we get into the collaboration, the June sticker came for this month and it's so cute. I don't know when this video is gonna come out though. So that promo might be obsolete, but this, I just carried this from my house. I have been working on a collaboration with Sad Shrimps, also known as Natasha. She does pretty much the same job as me. She has a YouTube channel, which is amazing. If you don't, sub to her, sub to her. She makes awesome vlogs and just like beautifully edited videos. She's an illustrator. She designs amazing merch and she reached out to me. I'm a little out of breath, one second. She reached out to me one day and she was like, what if um, you made some merch? And she's asked me this question before. Like, people have, have just asked me that question and I'm just like not into making merch because I don't like talking to manufacturers at all. It really stresses me out. It's not worth it for me. And I was like, no. And she was like, well, what if, what if I did it? And I was like, okay, I'm listening. And she was like, okay, what if we collaborate? And I was like, okay, I'm listening. We had a Zoom call about it and we made merch and it's in this box. There's samples of the merch we made in this box. I've been talking about it a bit on my Patreon podcast, but otherwise I haven't been talking about it because I haven't been vlogging. Let's look at the samples. I'm really excited to look at them. She shared some like teaser footage on Instagram and also has sent me process pictures along the way. Really, I wasn't like a helping hand in making this stuff. All I did was give her artwork. I've, all I did was send her artwork that I've made already and then she added on to it and made it into more complete designs for merch. Um, we made, one sec. We made two scarves, a tote bag, a sweatshirt. The tote bag comes with a keychain. We're gonna make a pencil box and two pairs of really cute socks. Honestly, all of the stuff I've seen online from her, amazing. Cute, is that overexposed? This is the cutest paper. So these are just, these are just mostly the samples. They're not gonna be like how the finished product actually is because um, we're making a few adjustments to them. These are, <laughs> oh my God. First we have these cute, she made cute packaging for the scarves. These are the two scarf design. I liked this one and she liked this one. So we made both. These are the cute custom made boxes. Like, Natasha does amazing design work. Okay, I gotta get some close up shots of me opening this. It's so cute. The little fruits on the tab. Really special. This is our first. This is my little devil, and this is her shrimp. It's our first scarf. It's kind of like a sheer. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, the print came out really nice. A lot of the time I feel like this kind of printing is gonna be blurry, but I will take some B-roll to put over this so you don't have to look at it just laying on this box. But this is so cute. Okay, let's open the other one. Again, little devil and shrimp babies. The custom packaging is so cute. I love this. So my piece is the main center doggy piece and then Natasha added these little shrimpies. <laughs> so cute. At first we found this kind of challenging to collaborate on um, adding on to this, okay, sorry. Adding on to this doggy piece because it already has a border, like two borders already. But I really love how this came out. Very cute. I didn't uh, put up the camera that well. I'll admit that. Um, this is the sweatshirt. She wrote me a note that says this is the first sample. Sleeves too long, shirt too long, printed design too low. So 
we'll get the gist. We'll get the gist of what it looks like with this. Also, really captured the texture on the print. So this is my design on the front, and then Natasha added this cute. Well, sorry, my window's open. Um, this cute's up to the sleeve, and you know what? I'm gonna make more B-roll footage because this is terrible. And then she also did the back. So cute. I love the creamy color. Look at her cute post-it notes. So she made two custom mailers, one small, and then one larger one. Natasha kind of slays it with the packaging, which is something I don't get into a lot, so... This is very fun for me, because I don't see packaging a lot, and it's kind of... Sorry, some of my paper is blowing around by the window, but these are very fun. Oh, we have the real sweatshirt. Oh, cute! So this one's way shorter, and then the shoulders come out and the sleeves are shorter. Um, we only have a little bit left. We have socks, the tote, and then a whole bunch of thank you cards. I was wondering what was in here that made this heavy. It's these. It's these thank you cards. They're cute. Okay, here's the front. Check that out. In the back. Adorable. That's my little doggy at the bottom. I sent her literally, I sent her literally just like random doodles and she just made it work. I don't know how she did it. Okay, now we just have socks. We tried to do like embroidery for these butterfly socks and they didn't get the colors right, but I love them. Like there's something about how dorky they look, like the embroidery looks, that makes me love these. Okay. And these are the embroidery version of the devil and shrimp ones. I don't know, the embroidery is like so funny. <laughs> and you can see like the, we wanted there to be two different oranges on this and they're almost the same. So. These are the two real ones. Can we get some commotion for the packaging, please? Cause like, it's such cute packaging. Last but not least, least is the tote. I'm making an absolute mess right here. Which we designed this tote after my favorite Big Bud Press bag. Um, because I really like when the straps are long and it hangs down and it's not like little straps all up in your armpit. Um, and we went with these red straps, which I love. This is my little fish face design. It's so cute. And then this is the keychain is designed by Natasha to go with the, with the tote, with a little label on the back. Like everything is so, specially designed and it has a zipper closure. I didn't know about that part, but that is so cute. I love the zipper. This is very exciting. I'm gonna take some B-roll and then this week I need to take some product video photo stuff to promo this collaboration and that's it.
I was just watching Furry Little Peach's vlog and she has that cute flag on her computer screen and I was like, maybe this would be cute on a computer screen. I will admit my screen is like huge. It's, it's huge because I like it for video editing, but like any other size screen, even a screen this big, it looks cute on. Like if you're not into wearing scarves and you don't want to hang it on your wall, this is, this is nice. So I really need to take pictures of the Sad Shrimps collab stuff because it comes out in like a little over a week and it's it's been lingering like it's a task I need to do but it hasn't been the sunny nice light in my studio since I've gotten this stuff. It has been like lightly sunny right now it's overcast which is like nice for just hanging out in here but it's not like that juicy sunlight burst that I like to have in my photos. So I think I'm just gonna bring like a couple of the thing, couple of the things around with me and maybe try and take more styled photos outside because overcast is great for outside, really good for outside photos um, and try to do maybe some stuff out there. Um, because it hasn't been good light in here. I think it, let me check the weather. Maybe this weekend, but truly it's been just like overcast and rainy for a week um, with little spots of sun. But the sun only like shines into my studio in the afternoon. So if it's not sunny after like one or two, so I'm gonna pack up some of the stuff and try and get some like outside photos. Another problem I have is I don't have an iron or a steamer. So like the wrinkliness of the products, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm like, you can see my shirt is wrinkly. Like I don't care if stuff is wrinkly, but it's not like super great for photos. And I know that, but it might just be how it is. You know what I mean? Um, okay. I'm gonna pack it all in the tote because I feel like that's a really authentic way to do it. Um, all packed up. All conveniently in this adorable tote. The long, the long straps, I'm all for this because when the straps are too short and the, and the back starts like going like this and it starts like going like this on, on the round part of your shoulder, I despise that. But not with this one. It's so long, it's not going anywhere. And a zipper, you can't see it. Security within a tote bag, absolutely never heard of. Yeah. What? What? I love her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah. 
Oh, my sad shrimp stuff. Look. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, we're moving so fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got it. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't keep this on. <laughs> it's long enough. See? Agile. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, I kind of need to show like the toe and stuff. Huh? Oh, I just started recording. But like, you know. yeah, whoa. I guess that we should take pictures of them without shoes on. Ah. Whoa. That was great. <laughs> so we did our best with what we have. The air quality today, garbage, bad. Um, so we can't go outside, but we're gonna go to Fern and steam the scarves so they're not wrinkly, take some more photos there and hope for the best. Also, I got a facial today and uh, she oiled my whole scalp and told me to leave it until night. So I can't just be taking my hat off <laughs> or putting anything on my face, so. See you there. In the middle of this video, I lost a bunch of footage. So while editing it, I tried to make it a pretty okay, okay, like you could follow the timeline of what was going on, but there is lots of footage missing. I talk about updating my website. I talk about listing my stuff. I talk about um, getting photos for the products that's gone all of the the footage i have for the the photo shoot of all of the stuff we made is all vertical because the only things i have footage wise were for reels um because i i magically deleted all the, a bunch of footage i don't know how i did it and then i tried to recover the footage by like doing some recovery mode on my computer and then my computer wouldn't start. So after that, I had to bring my computer to the Apple store because I couldn't get it to start. And then I went on vacation and I had to leave it at the Apple store for a week. So there was a big delay with this video and the footage and I worked so hard, so hard to piece it together and make it look like nothing's missing. And honestly, I nailed it. So I just wanted to clue you in on that. It just feels like part of this process. Um, so yeah, 
Enjoy. As you just saw, I received the product in in heat. So the way that I packed orders was actually really pleasant. So the two boxes I received were shipped to Natasha first and then she packaged up the stuff, put it in boxes and mailed it to me so I could ship my orders. She didn't give me as much stock as she took. She knows that I don't love packing orders. Um, I like it for a little bit and then I, I just like burn out pretty quick. I'm like, I just want to draw. I don't, I don't want to use tape anymore. I'm done. But since the products were shipped to me in, in batches, I got to pack all of the sock orders and then I packed all of the scarf orders and then I packed all of the tote orders and then James packed all of the sweatshirt orders and each of those was like, one type of order a week so that was actually really nice for me it's not a shop update experience i've ever ever created for myself i always have a bunch of products released and then i get a bunch of orders and then i just pack them all and i don't stop but since i didn't have all of the products in my studio to pack i didn't have the choice to do that and it made packing orders so much more pleasant um, I don't know if I'd create that for myself again, but I might do my next update and say when people order that their orders might take a little bit longer to ship. It is really nice to have James to help me pack orders, but the space where I'm packing orders right here is only so big. It's really only big enough for one person to work on it. Um, we can situate the space to make it so two people can pack orders kind of easily, but it's not ideal because it just like makes the studio really messy and full. So maybe something I'll do in the future. Something I learned, kind of cool. Um, those sweatshirts were the last thing that we received. We, after I did the whole computer thing being broken and I came back from vacation, the sweatshirts were here and James packaged all of them in these green mailers that Natasha designed for us. And then if you ordered before this video came out, your order is with you or on its way. So that's pretty cool.
the sun blasting on me right now so hot i i'm blistering let's just lean forward this is good um i can't have my ac on because it buzzes incessantly so i have to turn it off when i'm filming and or recording audio so i just like get steamy it gets really steamy in here and it's late afternoon and the sun that's when the sun does this you see um but i hope you enjoyed the video um as of right now james just finished packing all of our open orders we still have sweatshirts scarves and socks i think natasha still has some totes if you like the tote i think the tote is so special um along with other things but i'm a little biased at the tote um so if you wanted to grab those they're on my website and natasha's and as a reminder my shop is only accepting us and canada orders and then her shop is is accepting all all orders even the us and canada if you want to get the tote you can still get it from natasha so check that out if you if you like no pressure um i also want to give before the video ends i want to give a shout out to my little puppy patrons because they supported me through my youtube vlog hiatus um and they also are just so nice and so special so thank you for supporting me i feel so blessed and grateful for this community on youtube and my patrons and everyone so shout out to everyone um like the video if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video and made it this far um leave me a love letter in the comments any engagement is appreciated um um i'm hoping that this audio worked well i'm trying not to speak too loudly so it doesn't like blow out and you can see it recording on my screen i don't have this locked it's wide open um so i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching again bye bye see ya i was supposed to dance at one point i don't remember when i used to dance um beginning or end I think at the end. I can't really like... I'm really proud of me finishing this video because I'm not gonna lie to you, it was so hard. I wore my Sad Shrimps hat to the studio so it would feel like we were together. Okay, bye.